those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Megan Savage. Yes, that is my real last name before y'all ask. I am 25 years young and I've been in this business for about a year and a half. I am an ambassador leader here and I'm super pumped that I get to announce that we have now moved our level up calls from once a month to every single weekend, guys. We are going to be pouring value into you. We're going to give you everything you need in order to scale your business, to know exactly you know, how to help other people to save lives. And uh, this is exactly what I'm going to go over with my training. So for those of you who, who feel, like, be, let's be honest, okay? let, let, this is a safe space, okay? Who here feels like they have a problem recruiting? Drop a one in the chat. Maybe it's been like an uncomfortable thing for them, or maybe you just don't have the skills yet. Who here feels like that? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Who here feels like, you know, that they're all right, but they could, they could level up. Drop, drop a two in the chat. Maybe you're like, you're halfway there. Okay, cool. We have some more experienced people. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna let you know I love recruiting. I love recruiting. I, I used to be a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning, but as we all know, when we're uncomfortable, that means that we're growing. Those are growing pains. And I love recruiting. Why? Because I get to add more people to my family. I get to show people that there is another way out of this matrix. Like I get to help people achieve their dreams. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. I don't like to like, uh, and I actually got this from, from Edwin. I'm going to shout out him out. Um, when I used to talk about recruiting, he's the one who opened up my, my eyes and now I call it saving lives because that's exactly what we're doing here, guys. Um, now I'm going to flex, flex a little bit. I like to talk my stuff. I like to, you know, um, you know, talk my stuff, but I want to let you all know that recruiting is one of my absolute top skills and my team shout out to them. They've recruited over 30 people in the last two weeks. In the last two weeks, that's 30 lives saved. Now I'm going to give you guys the system. I'm going to give you guys everything that you need so you can duplicate these results and have your own teams growing. Um, I'm going to share my screen here. So for those of you with your camera on, let me know if you can see this here. Over. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Can y'all see that? No? Give me one sec. Perfect. Oh, I see the problem. Okay, perfect, perfect. Can y'all see this okay? Perfect. I love this. Let me make it big for you guys. Open the chat here so I can see you. So the system, recruit like a savage. Guys, this is literally, I am such a systems-based person. I believe if you have to do anything more than once, it should have a system. And I don't know about y'all. I have like mad ADHD and I sometimes get overwhelmed and that's normal to feel overwhelmed. And especially what we do, because guys, it's a blessing and a curse that literally we don't answer to anyone. We are our own boss, but that means that we have to hold ourselves accountable. So if you have systems put in place, you'll be able to get from point A to point B a lot easier, a lot more simple, a lot faster than someone who's, who doesn't have these resources at hand. So I'm literally going to give you guys from like numero uno, like you are trying to find someone to talk to all the way up to launching them successfully so they can now duplicate the same results. So I'm going to, perfect, let some more people in here before I get started. All right, guys, awesome. So this system. Now, the seven skills of network marketing. I'm gonna let you guys know the reason I love like our comp plan, okay, is it's split into two factors. So one is affiliate marketing and one is network marketing. Affiliate marketing is very much like link in my bio. Um, you know, it's very sales based. And then the network marketing part is development of people. That's what people don't, I feel, understand. It's the development of people. If I help you win, if I help you achieve, achieve your goals, I also win in turn. It's just everyone eats. And I love that motto. Everybody here benefits. Okay, so the, the seven skills that you are going to learn throughout your time here are as follows. So one is finding prospects. Okay, two, inviting prospects. Three, presentation. Four, closing. Five, follow-up. Six, launching. And seven, promoting. Okay, so I just want to like test y'all for those of you who've been here a little bit. Who can tell me the highest paying skill in network marketing? Who can tell me? Drop it in the chat. I want to know. I see Michelle typing, y'all better hurry up. Atelia, promoting, yes. And I want to let y'all know, I want to let y'all know, if you are no rank to PE, okay, all you need to focus on are two. You need to focus on inviting 
and promoting your uplines, they, they all got you from there. All right. Um, now promoting is the top paying skill in network marketing. What that means guys, I'm going to be straight with you. You do not have to be the brightest bulb in the shed. You do not have to be like, you do not have to be the smartest. You don't have to have a lot of experience. You just have to learn how to promote properly, get people excited. Okay. I'm going to get more into that later, but let me, let me go to the next slide here. Let me close this chat. All right. So the first one we're going to go over is finding prospects. Okay. Super, super basic as in warm market and cold market. For those of you who do not know what warm market is, warm market is the people that you know, family, friends, you know, gym down the street, uh, old coworkers, anyone who pretty much knows your name. Now, I used to confuse this for people that have a close connection with me, but that's not exactly, you know, uh, what a warm market is. It could be acquaintances too. So when you're first starting out, you should make a list. I'm going to let you know, your upline has probably told you, make a list of 25 people. Okay. I made a list of 200. I'm going to flex that. Okay. Why? Because I wanted to take this super, super serious. And I wanted to, I wanted people to know exactly what I have. You know, the reason that we, we do this, this list is because it teaches you two things. It teaches you one, um, you know, how to invite and two, it teaches you about rejection because the people in your warm market, I'm going to be honest with you guys, they're going to be the hardest ones to quote unquote sell because they know you for who you were, not who you're going to become, not who you're going to be. And that is okay. I always make this list and I go through them because I want, I wanted to know, um, you know, the system, like how everything would work. And to be honest, guys, that's how I got my, my fee covered it was actually from my warm market. I had people um, that I didn't think. Now, as you see here, I wrote never prejudge. What I would do is I wouldn't add people to the list that I was like, she wouldn't be interested. Uh, you know, I know her money situation. Don't do that. Do not do that. Because something about me guys is I had zero dollars. I literally, I literally did not have anything. I charged my credit card. I used my, it was my rent money, my food money for the next month. And I was like, this better work. If not, I, I'm not eating. Okay. So the thing is, is that if someone wants it bad enough, they will, they'll figure it out. So never prejudge. Uh, like I've, I've heard this from Christian before. If you, if I said, Hey guys, I'm going to give you a Lamborghini but you have to pay, give me a thousand dollars in the next hour. I bet you y'all would find a thousand dollars. Why? Because the value outweighs the cost. That's the mindset you need to have. Okay. Number two, cold market. So strangers, these are people you find on social media. Okay. I love, we are so spoiled. If you like, I'm going to say this every single training I get on, we are so spoiled being here. The mentorship we have, the trainings we have, the tools and systems that we have guys. So I'm going to drop something here. So for the cold market, premium and elite members, first off, First off, y'all already know what I'm going to say. Who is pumped about boards? Who has used boards if you're on the premium and elite membership? Drop, drop a one in the chat. And Michelle's are like, me, me. And do you guys think those help you? Does, does it make it easier? To, to Tilly, Tilly, we'll deal with that after the call. Don't you worry. It, it, exactly. Immensely. It's true, guys. So um, again, like all the top leadership, we, we did these boards for you. And it made it easier for you to transition from finding a person, connecting with them and booking that call. So boards absolutely love that. We go into how to reach out to people, whether it's they reached out to you, they liked your stuff, cold, mark, uh, cold um, outreach, whichever. Now, another thing I want to shout out, Christian actually made a six-figure social media course, guys. As you guys know, you've been on his social medias. If you've been here over, over a week, you've probably been on his social media and you've seen the massive growth he's had, okay? Now, he's actually took all of his knowledge and he made a course for you guys, for premium and elite members above, to pretty much break all of that down, all of that down. And for all that's done the course, you already know how good that is. And then now uh, we also have live and recorded trainings for every membership here um, on a weekly basis now, but we have so many recorded trainings. Like guys, like for example, I'll give a huge shout out to Rosanna. She's a queen of branding. She does so many trainings about that. Um, me and Dakota, I'm gonna let you all know, we just did a social media training on TikTok and Instagram, the two main funnels that you should have for social media. Um, we're actually gonna be dropping that this week for you guys, so you guys can take a look. Um, but just to give you guys perspective, you have so many things here that can help you with your cold market. So do not worry. When I first started, guys, I had no idea. I didn't know how to reach out to anyone. I was just willing, coachable, and hungry. That's all I was. I didn't have, I wasn't special. I didn't have a huge IQ for it. Like I, I didn't have any experience. So just know that as long as you're willing to listen to your mentor, you'll be okay. okay. Now, the next one, inviting prospects. This is the skill that I want you, as well as promoting, to get very, very good at. So I'm going to broke it down for you a little bit. So the law of ratios. I recent, I dropped something before this call started. Two things. I dropped... The first one is the Jim Rohn podcast. If you've been working with me at all, you know I've preached this podcast and I, I get you to listen to it quite early on. Why? First off, Jim Rohn's the GOAT. If you don't know who he is, go search him up. Thank me later. Um, but what this podcast does is it teaches you about um, the law of ratios. 
Okay, so when you do something long enough, a ratio appears. I love this. Um, so when you do listen to this podcast, please take tons of notes. But pretty much what I'm going to go over is in our profession, one out of every 10 people that you show the opportunity to sign up. One out of every 10. I'm going to let you all know uh, our organization has a way high, higher closing ratio because of how, you know, how good we are. But I'm going to let you know on average in this profession, one out of every 10 people sign up. Okay. Um, so 70% of people will buy small packages. That being, um, you know, that being uh, choice, select, what's not. And the higher packages are going to be premium and elite. Okay. Now, knowing that, knowing that on average, you need a seven signups to hit PE. What is PE? PE is core rank, core rank. That is roughly about $600 a month extra. Now, I want to I ask you guys straight up, how would $600 USD a month change your situation? Would it, would it impact it a lot? Yeah, drop it in the chat. Would that impact? Drop a one in the chat if that would change your, change your situation. Because I'm going to let you all know, most people, they are $500 away from poverty. $500. That means tire blows, I don't know, like um, an unexpected medical bill, like something comes up, they're in poverty. So that that's huge. I love that. Um, so this is pretty much the breakdown. So the reason the law, the law of ratios is very, very important. And the reason I wrote when you do something long enough, a ratio appears is because let's say your ratio was one out of every 10 people you, you spoke to signed up. You're just going to keep getting better and better every time you present. You're going to keep getting better and better. There's going to be more and more products. There's going to be more and more elevation, meaning your ratio will start to get more and more and more. For example, my ratio is eight out of every 10 people that I get in, in front of, they sign up. And that's because I worked on it. I put in the 10,000 hours. Okay, so that, that's what's going to happen to you as well. Um, now, when you know these numbers, you are able to calculate what rank, sorry, I someone's trying to sign in. Um, you're able to calculate what rank you want to hit and what income you need all from the law of ratios. So my assignment to you is after this call, find a time, get on that podcast and listen to it. It's going to change your mind. Next one is the reach out. So again, I talk about boards. Messaging is important. Messaging is super, super important. Um, you know, leaders go out and find their people. The biggest mistake that I hear is when people are like, oh, I'm just going to wait for them to message me. If they're interested, they'll message me. That's not true, guys. When I first hit my like first full-time income doing this, I was reaching out to everybody everybody. And you know how many people got started because they're like, you know what? I was thinking about it and I was just scared to make the move. And I'm so grateful to you because like, it was like a sign you reached out and I was in my time of need. And it's true. It's true. The universe speaks through us. Our job is to find our people, find our people. And this creates a ratio guys. You're going to get tons of no's, but that's okay. That is okay. Because trust me, the moment you save that one person and there's forever grateful, this, this thing, like it becomes so much more worth it. So much more worth it. Now, the last one here is booking the call, booking the call guides. So leverage Calendly. If you, who here, out of curiosity, who here has your Calendly all set up? Drop one in chat, drop a two if you do not. You don't have that. Why should no one drop a two? Everyone's just like, I hope I all see one, 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 one. Perfect, perfect. So if you've worked with me, I, you know I've expressed the importance of Calendly. Okay, so Calendly is another tool that we have. Now, why is it important? Besides organization, because when you guys explode, and you will, being on this organization, and you guys will have so many people because everyone wants to do business with you, um, you are going to need to know where to put your time. Okay, nothing sucks more than you get on a call with someone and they're 15 years old, and then you just wasted that hour. Nothing sucks more than you get on a call and there's someone who like is just not a qualified lead. So what does Calendly do is it has questions on there. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my Calendly at the end of this training so you guys can go through it and take a look at it. I have questions on there. Um, literally they they ask, they they cover all the objections. Okay, so they cover like do you have a spouse that makes decisions in your household? Because if so, I'm gonna get them on a call. Are you over age? Um, you know it has their Instagram so I can find them. And most importantly is it asks how much money do they have to comfortably invest? Because what is the main objection that people get? I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. Guess what? You do have money. I asked you. <laughs> so now you have that. I do want to let you know though, the level of priority guys. Okay. Um, so first off, if you have a live event, 
in your area, if you have a live event in your area, or if you, you know, want to host your own, I'm sure your, your mentor upline would love that, but live events and one-on-one calls. So slash three on ones or sorry, three, three way calls. Um, if you're still doing your call with your mentor, those should always be prioritized. Why you can build connection with your people. You can build connection. I, I ha- you have that rapport, but you have, um, you're able to answer the questions at a more personal level and they can see you that builds trust. Always prioritize the call or live event first. Okay. Next is online events. If they are, uh, let's say they don't have money. Let's say, you know, they, they they can't book a one-on-one something happens. They keep rebooking. We all have those people that are nervous and they keep rebooking our one-on-ones. And then by the way, guys, just a quick tip with that. I only rebook once. So you should do that as well. I only rebook once after that. I put you on the live event or I put, or I put you on an online event or I put you on an off video, but let's say someone's rebooking. They're nervous. You can put them on the online event, the wealth summit. We have so many things that you guys can utilize. Okay. Plug them into that. It gets them excited. Cause like I said, when people see the value, they're much more inclined to be like, you know what? Okay. I'm willing to spend the 300. I'm willing to spend the 600. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's number two. And number three is the op video. That is the last thing I'll send. I will send that to people in third world countries. So they still see the opportunity. I'm talking India, Kenya, Africa. I will still send them that. Okay. Um, I will also send it to people that maybe they can't attend a live event. They can't do anything. That's just my last option. Okay. Now, um, I hope you guys are taking notes because that's, that's very, very important. Next is presenting, presenting. Oh, Maria, I see that notepad. I see that notepad. Uh, (laughs) Next is presenting my favorite skill love presenting. Um, so I broke it down to you for you guys in a four like categories. Okay. So when presenting now, that is, um, the other thing that I dropped, that is a, something that I'm going to give Dakota a huge shout out, uh, to me and her went and did a mock presentation for you guys. We literally like went over objections. We went through the structure. We literally showed you from the moment you hop on a call with someone to closing them, like get, like getting the sale how we do it. Okay. So we did that for you guys. And I dropped it in builders. I will drop it again after this call in case you guys didn't see it, please take advantage of it. Okay. It's a great tool to you, uh, to utilize. Um, but pretty much what the presenting is, is one is the intro. So this is, if you're on a three-way call, this is where you edify. Pardon me. This is where you edify your mentor. Edification is very, very important. Okay. Because what it is, is that person's built a line of trust with you. Okay. So if you're edifying someone else, you need to transfer that trust. If I just went, Hey guys. So, um, yeah, so this is Michelle and you're so, you're so like my prospect, they're gonna be like, okay, but who's Michelle? Like, why am I listening to her? Why am I not talking to you? You know what I'm saying? So it's very, very important to have, um, the edification on point. Now, if it's doing a one-on-one call, Regardless, this is where you build rapport. This is where you build, um, you know, you have a little bit more of a connection with one another. I go over that in the um, op presentation. Um, And this is where you go over the qualifying questions again. You need to go over them again. Okay. So how much time do you have to invest in or uh, do this on a daily basis? How much money can you comfortably, um, you know, invest? And, And then their goal and their why. You need to know their why. So you know what to show them. For example, if someone's preaching about they don't have enough time, um, but you know they want they still want to be dabbling in the the financial markets, probably gonna offer them a lead because of the automation. If someone's talking about traveling and they love traveling and the accessibility, I'm probably gonna talk about the travel discounts. Like you need to know what to cater towards them, um, and their goal. You need to know what they're expecting to hit here. You need to know first if it's um, like. A reasonable goal. If someone comes in here, they're like, I want to make 10K a month, my first month. I only have a half hour a week to put into this and I have no money to invest. Sorry, man, go find something else. But um, obviously, if they have a reasonable goal, you're able to help them. Another reason why the law of ratios is important because if you find their ratio, you'll be able to help them make their suitable goal. Okay. So that's all in the intro. Now we go into the client side of what we do. Okay. So 80% of members to choose to just do the client side, which is O. Okay, which is okay. So there's three levels to the education. You guys, you'll notice Dakota has a different way of presenting. Krishna has a different way of presenting. I have a different way of presenting. Like everyone has a different way of presenting, but we still follow the same structure. As in, we go over the three levels of education. University, money pro, learn lives. Okay? So basic to advanced level education, financial um, literacy, and then um, education from experts. 
Okay. Then the next is the two products, signals and automation. Signals and automation. Okay. That's pretty much the breakdown. I just go into what those are. Um, and then, then we go into the business side. So I, I ask people straight up in the beginning, um, like, do you know what affiliate marketing is? Most of them say, oh, sort of, I know, maybe. Okay, great. So affiliate marketing is presenting a, uh, or like it's promoting a product or service online and getting paid commissions for it. I let them know this is optional and that 20% of the people choose to do the business side. Okay. So through the business side, here's this, the structure. They get one-on-one -on -one mentorship. They get weekly trainings. And then they get tools and systems. I'm sure y'all know you've used the marketing chat. You know, we have all those courses I just told you in the beginning. Okay. Um, and then we have community. And that is a huge selling point, guys. Because honestly, I've been asked this before. Like, even if I made no money from this, I would still be satisfied with my purchase because of the people and the support system that I have today. And sometimes people, that's all they want. They just want to know that they're not alone in this big hurling ball of dirt in the space. Like they just, they just want to know that they have other people that are like-minded. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, and then the last is the prices. So how they can get started. This is helping them come to a final decision. So um, we go over packages, the four to score. So how to get their monthly fee covered and upgrades, letting them know that if they have to start at a lower package, it's okay. Cause you can upgrade. We have a great upgrade culture here. That is pretty much everything I go over in my presentation. My presentation is about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, guys, okay? If you followed everything correctly. Now, closing, closing. Um, so if you followed the system thus far, the objections are already handled, okay? There's really no objections. Um, however, there's always gonna meet you know, some person who's a little hesitant. It's okay to just ask them, hey, so can I ask why you're hesitant? Or like, like, don't kind of ask that stuff, but we go over that in the op presentation. So make sure to look at that video. Um, but make sure you are confident in everything that you're saying. If you are like, for example, if you're like, yeah, so the prices are uh, 1500 and like, no one's gonna wanna buy from you. They're gonna think there's a problem, okay? I'm confident about my prices. Why? Because my mindset is, I think we should charge more. I think we get so much in the elite pack. I think we get so much in like premium. I think we get so much for this little price that it literally blows my mind. It blows my mind. And that because I have that mindset, the people that I talk to, they're confident with their purchase and simplify things. Do not over explain. That was the one thing that I did wrong in the beginning, guys. My presentation, they were literally an hour long before. An hour long. <laughs> okay. Because like, I went into every little thing. They don't need to know that. They need to know the basics, the structure. And then when they get in, you can you help direct them. You have, oh, they want to do Forex? You're going to show them where that is. Oh, they want to start the marketing? You, you're going to show them what that is. That is that is us, okay? Um, now, people will buy if they feel good. They don't necessarily, and this is why I, I say simplify it. Um, if they, they will remember how you make them feel, not what you say. They will remember how you make them feel, not what you say. So as long as you are positive, confident, you're a good experience for them, they'll be happy to buy. And if they think they can do it, if you make it sound overcomplicated, it doesn't matter how good like the, the results are, they're not going to do it because they don't feel like they can. Okay. Um, so don't be scared of objections. This allows you to connect with your prospect. Honestly, the people that had the most objections on like that I, they, I actually got started, they're the ones that stuck around the longest because they have that connection with me. All right. Um, now always end. Now this is key. This is key. This is from my years of sales experience, guys. Always end with, are you ready to get started? So I, I do my whole presentation and how I close is I go, all right, so um, you were looking at the premium pack. Is there any questions you have about that? Are you ready to get started? Let's say they have a question. I answer, awesome. So are, do you have any more questions? Are you ready to get started? And the key to that is don't say anything after. Do not say anything after. Just keep your mouth shut, let them think, and then go from there. Okay, those are my key points for closing. Now, remember guys, we're not here to convince anyone. We are not here to convince anyone to join because if you convince them to join, you're going to have to convince them to work. And that's not the type of organization I want to run. I want to run with those who want to run. Okay. And if, and you're good, if you get people that say, oh, I want to see results first, I want to see, um, I want to see your paycheck first. If you have to show them a paycheck there to, for them to get started, they're never going to actually get any results in the system because they're going to need a paycheck to show others to get started. Does that make sense? Does that, does that make sense to you guys? You should never base your results of another person ever, 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 ever. So those people I feel bad for, but I straight up tell them, I straight up say that, you know what I'm saying? So remember that. Okay. We just help them make a decision, whether it's a yes or a no, 
we help them come to it. But remember that, um, again, we don't convince anyone. We just find our people. Next, follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. So the fortune is in the follow up. You guys have probably heard that a billion times and you'll hear it a billion times more because it's super important. Um, so the follow up, no does not mean no forever. It means no right now. What do I mean by that? There, guys, I'm gonna shout out Pia. Okay, I, I keep using her as an example. She literally followed me for an entire year, an entire year before she got started. There's so many people that have told me no because maybe in that moment in time, there was stuff going on in their life that they just weren't ready for it. Of course, you'll never know if you're ready, but they just, it wasn't their time. But there's been so many times, you have no idea what's gonna happen in someone's life that they're all of a sudden, like maybe there was a tragedy that happened. Maybe their boss after working like 80 hours a week and they asked for a raise said no. And they're like, screw this, I'm gonna go do my own thing. Like you never know what is gonna happen. So you want to have them A, on, in your Instagram funnel so they can see your growth. They can see the social proof. They can see how they relate to you. and like this, like you, they want to um, be able to reach back out to them. Like you, you never know, right? So, um, and again, I just put it the last part here. So Fridays are the follow-up days. Other people rest after closing day. Other people are like, yo, I'm good. I made some sales. I'm, you know, I ranked up. That's great. Fridays, this is who, who laps people in this business, okay? Who on Fridays is already booking calls throughout the week? That is who I want to work with. Because those people, um, like this is a time for action. Why? Most people get paid on Fridays, guys. Most people get paid. So let's hit them. You know, let's get them back up before they spend that money on something useless that can't save their life. Before they go on that that sheen haul, okay? Before before they go on that date or whatever. Like let's let's get them making their own money. Eighty percent of people need a second exposure before getting started. 80%. Do you know how much money, how many people you're walking out on because you're not re-following up with the person? That This is important, guys. This is how I was able to hit a full-time income. This is how I was able to hit ambassador. That This is how I'm going to hit IPA is because of that follow-up, 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 follow-up. Next, launching. I feel like this is the most forgotten about skill. Most forgotten about. Because some people, they get people started and then they're happy they made the sale and they walk away. That's not how we do things here in Champions. That's not. And that's why I love this organization. We care about your success a lot. Um, so a launching system is very, very important. Okay. So, um, you know, shout out to, you know, Christian uh, for making the ready to launch site for us. Again, another tool that we're spoiled from. If you guys do not, or if you're not familiar with that site, get familiar with it. I literally went in every single tab. I looked at everything. Um, we're going to be adding some new additions to the ready to launch sites to so be, be ready for that because we're always elevating. But um, I'm going to break down my launch and how I launch people successfully. Okay. So one is phase one. This is after they get started. I do this on the call. Okay. So there's two different types of launches, guys. The phase one is the same for both people, for both types of people, customer or, or affiliate. Okay. Um, reason being too, guys, is we have, uh, we have so many people who get started. They see the community, they see it, and then they want to do the marketing after. So like this, this is important that this is the same, okay? So one is we have, they both start with a weekly call list. So I send my people the weekly calls um, so they can attend all the calls, okay? I'm going to be dropping that again in builders at the end of this call so you guys have it. I'm giving you, I'm literally giving you all of my secret sauce, guys. Like everything that I do, I'm giving it to you. Um, then the, we do the ready to launch videos. So they go to the site, I walk them down, I show them where the ready to launch videos are. And I let, I tell them there's about seven videos there, five minutes each, just give it a watch. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Next, I send them the back office navigation video that is in the setup section of the ready to launch site. The reason I do this, okay, even though it's not on the phase one part is because um, this saves any questions about how to log in, where your products are, everything. This shows them everything. Um, so they don't even have to ask me. They already have all their information. And the last one is the Telegram channels. I like to make sure they are in. It's very, very important that they're in the Champions broadcast, the Game Changers broadcast, so they know when the trainings are, any updates. It's very important. And if they're a builder, that they're put into the builder's chat. Why? Because our community is amazing. And the faster they're in there, the faster they'll see results. Um, and then, uh, obviously, the trading channel. And obviously, like if they're premium and elite, we have... Uh, specific channels for them. Uh, when it, like elites obviously get the VIP channel where we do specific trainings just for elite members, the giveaways, the access to the six-figure earners, all of that. So I make sure they're in that and as well, 
we do have the signals for the trading side, specifically for premium and elite. Okay, so I make sure they're in all their channels. Now, the next part is the start of the affiliate or customer launch sheet. Okay, if, they're, if they want to do both, I always get them started with affiliate first. Why? Because I want their social media is building for them while they're learning how to trade. I want that. Okay, they can make money with trading. You need one of two things. You need a lot of time or you need a lot of money. This, you, I started with little money when I first got started, but I had time to do it. But with the marketing side, you can literally make money the first week. Okay. So I really want, I want them building that as soon as possible. Now, don't be scared to give timelines. I, the biggest thing that I was like scared about in the beginning guys was I was scared to give people timelines. Cause I was like, I don't want to push their schedule. I don't want to push people. Guys, guys, that is our job as a mentor is to push our people. You know that, right? And, and this is why I like, it's, it's super, super important. I'm going to get into the next slide, but it's super, super important to be that rock for your people. So I, for example, phase one, I tell people I want I like 20, 24 hours. I'd like that done in the first 24 hours. It's seven videos. And I'm not saying if they go, Hey, listen, like this came up, like I had to push it. That's one thing. That's fine guys. But I'm saying like, if you like it's seven videos that are five minutes each, 24 hours is good enough. Um, next is affiliate, uh, uh, like the affiliate launching, the customer launch sheet. It's broken into seven days. I let people know. I'm like, Hey, this is the max is seven days. So I'd like this done, but you can get it done sooner. I did mine in two days. Okay. You can do it sooner. It's completely up to you. Um, but it's good to set, um, like make sure your customers are set up with the proper resources. And, um, after that, that's pretty much it for the customer launch. Cause the customers at this point, they'll have all their signals. They'll have their, their um, channels. Um, you can maybe direct them into what market they want to get started in the Forex, learn lives and whatnot. Um, but for the affiliates, when they're done all of that, they're done the customer or sorry, affiliate launch sheet. I get them to watch the comp plan video. Okay. Now um, I let them know right away that you might have to watch it more than once because we have a lot of ways to make money, but I want them to watch it so they know how to make money. Now, this is phase three. This is important. Okay. This is the secret sauce that will help your people. Okay. This is, I book a launch call with them. If it's someone on my, my downline, I get them to book it with me and them. So it's a three-way call. This is my first introduction to my people. I want to know who's in my downline. I want to get to know, how can I help you? How can I be a servant leader to you? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but you're going to book a call with your upline, with your downline, introduce them, edify, and you're going to let your upline take over. Pretty much what this is going to do is they are going to go over the road to platinum executive. Notice how I keep saying that rank. If you haven't hit it yet, you'll see why, uh, why soon it's really, really important. But this is what I go over on the launch call. This is literally my structure. I can't believe I'm literally giving you guys everything right now that I have. Um, so pretty much the first thing I go over is their why. I want to know the real why, not their why that they, that they said, you know, to book the call where they're like, Oh, I want to make more money. That's great. I want to know your why. Um, you know, like, is it, is it an emotional thing? Are you trying to save your parents? Is there trauma in your life? I want to know because I want to help you. Okay. Um, then I ask them if they have any questions regarding the comp plan so I can make it a little bit easier for them or any questions in general. I want to know. Um, next, I go over a quick training of what the seven skills of network marketing are because it's important for them to know what they're going to be learning here. And I let them know that the only two skills, if y'all remember in the beginning of this call that I want you to focus on if you are not PE is inviting and promoting. That is it. Don't worry about presenting. You shouldn't, your, your mentor will literally walk you through a structure of how to present. Okay. Don't, do not worry about closing. Do not worry about that. Just worry about getting people in front of your mentor. Okay. And learning how to promote on your social media. That's all. That's it. Um, next is, this is important. And this is key. You need to get permission from your people. So in, in, in the part one, I asked you your why. I want to, I want to know your emotional why. And part three, I get permission. Hey, so I realize you want to retire your parents because they're getting old and um, they may not have much time. And I realize that maybe you were homeless at one point and that scares you and you never want to be there again. And I like, I realize that. Do I have permission to get you to those goals? You're not going to like what I say all the time and you're not going to like what I tell you to do all the time. It's going to make you uncomfortable. But do I have permission to push you there? You need to get that permission, guys. It's straight up because when people, and there's going to be times where your downlines come at you and they're like, I know this makes me uncomfortable, but remind them, Hey, I had your permission to tell you what you need to hear. Do I still have that permission? 
And that's important because if, if you give me that permission and this is just me, you give me that permission and then you fight back, I know who to work with now. I'm just gonna be straight with you guys, okay? Next, law of ratios. Again, bringing that up, I tell them about the law of ratios. I then send them the podcast. If they don't already have it, I get them to watch it. Um, but I go over, hey, so your goal is you wanna hit, um, you wanna hit IP. That's great. We're gonna make that, uh, as you can see in uh, number five, uh, number five, I go plan for B, PE in six month plan. Let's say they wanna hit IPA, great. Your plan for IPA is gonna be in six months obviously sooner if we can, but six months right now, I want to focus on plan for PE. So I go over 70% of people buy this 30% of PR 20% 70% of people buy this, blah, blah, blah. Um, you need seven signups. I go over all of that. Okay. I break it down for them and literally show them. Um, next I go over a content plan. This is very quick. Um, so I get to know if they've posted content before or they haven't, you're going to get some people who have never even opened Instagram and you're going to get other people who've already been posting. They just need help amplifying it. So I need to know, uh, am I making a plan for you? Like, Hey, you already post. I just need to show you how to direct it towards business. Or am I making like a, Hey, you have never posted before in your life. This is the assignment I give them, by the way, I get them to find three people on social media that they like in our niche and I get them to learn how to duplicate. Now, I'm not going to get too much into social media on this training. Why? Because um, like I said before, me and Dakota are going to be releasing our social media training, pretty much going over all of this in depth about TikTok and Instagram for you guys here this week. Um, so this is going to go over all of that, help you make a content plan, help you to be, uh, help you be able to make a content plan for your downlines, it's going to give you everything you need. Okay. Um, now, sorry, I'm going to let more people in. And what I mean by that guys is like, I just want to give Dakota her credits. Like she started a new TikTok, and I said, I don't even think, I don't even know how long it's been. I don't even think it's been three months. I think it's been two months or something like that. Um, she's already like over three K. Um, me, I'm going to give myself some flowers. I went from 300 followers when I very first started to now I'm at almost 43 K. So these are just things that we've taken and we wanted to implement to you guys, um, and give you guys, so we can all grow together. And then the last thing is promote the next event. Y'all want to know why I showed up with so many people in Atlanta. Y'all want to know why I showed up with so many people in Florida because I promote the events. I, you, if you've been on a training with me. I will never stop promoting the importance of events ever, 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 ever. They change your life. They change everything. You learn so much. Every single person that went to Florida, first off, give you your props. I've been watching your social medias. I've been watching you show up. You've gotten so much better than when you first started. And I'm so glad I got to spend that time with you in Florida. I'm so glad. So this is, the, you know, the, the trainings that you get there, the content that you get there, the experience that you get there at events are so important. Now, the reason I promote the next event, whether it's a month, three months, six months, whatever, is because I want to drop that seed right away. Do you many people that we would get on these launch calls with and I would sell a ticket on the spot to them because they just didn't know? They just didn't know. They heard about it. They were sort of curious. I had some people, first off, shout out to Jess Lynn, okay? Because she saw it. And when she first got started, she wasn't even in here a week and she saw it. But then after we had a conversation, she goes, oh, I didn't know that I could actually join. She wouldn't, then she would have never come and experienced all that and got the content and looked at fire in her yellow dress. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, it's important to let your people know. So it's important for you as, as a leader, as an upline, as a mentor to know what's going on in your organization. What, or like, are we doing a live event in Toronto? Are we doing, um, you know, are we doing a, an online event? Are we doing um, a, a, a regional, a, like anything? You need to know these things, okay? Now, the last part, promote. Promote, 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 highest paying skill. Shout out to everyone who knew that. Um, so this is where you dive deep into social media. You share your journey. This is important, guys. The one thing I wish I did more in the beginning is like record more. Because when people see what I used to look like physically, how I used to talk, how like everything, they get more motivated. They get more motivated versus how I look now. I'm not saying like um, my communication skills have like are like extreme or or whatever, but I'm going to tell you guys, there's an extreme difference on what I used to look, sound, act versus now. And uh, like, <laughs> this is funny. So I, I show people my very first builder's call um, when I first came to Toronto. And I'm not, I'm not going to show it to you guys. You guys have to go find it in the deep, dark depths of all the recorded trainings. But um, let's just say I did that opening and it was horrible. It was actually one of my most embarrassing moments. But I show it to my team members who need to see it. 
So then they, they go, wow, that was you? And I'm like, yeah, let's see. I guess now it's been a year. Oh, I celebrated my year here. So guys, that was a complete year ago. Um, so that's awesome. Now, take advantage of these trainings. Like I said, the top leadership here, you know, Nora's done some, Heba's done some, Rosanna's done some, Christian. Like, like we've done so much trainings for you guys when it comes to social media. Actually utilize it, okay? And don't be scared to shout out your mentor and be like, hey, can you look at my stuff? Can you tell me what I need to make it better? Like, don't be scared. Um, duplication. I say it so many times, guys. When I first started, I was pumping out content. I picked like four different people that were going off on social media. And I literally just duplicated. If they were sitting down drinking and then they had, they, they looked like I did the same thing. I did the same thing because it, it just gave me the skill of making content. And then I got to a point where now I can look at a video about shoes and I know how to turn it into stuff about business. It's, it's a skill that you learn over time, okay? Don't knock yourself down. If you haven't put in 10,000 hours, you're not a professional yet, just, just put in your time and you'll be a-okay. Um, again, scroll down to my very first video on TikTok and you'll see what I mean. Uh, <laughs> and then this is the last point I'll say, guys, is promote, do not announce. I see this mistake so much. When there's a call going on, I don't want to see you posting the flyer and go, wow, excited for this call. No one knows what that call is. No one knows. Have you posted, have you posted my face, uh, like the flyer? Like I might look good, but like they don't know who I am. Do you know what I mean? So what I would do is in the beginning, if there was a call with like Christian, I would post this flyer and then I immediately go on and I'm like, hey guys, I don't think you know, but this is the youngest multi six figure earner in North America, guys. Like, and I would, I would post like a clip of him speaking and be like, this is this type of stuff that I get access to. And people would hear the excitement in my voice. Even if it was about my sidelines, if, if I was promoting a live, an Instagram live that I was doing with my sidelines, I still would get hyped. I'd be like, guys, I don't think you understand. Okay, like I, I would make people, even if they would either do that, one of two things, they would be excited to be on the call because or, or to like be connected with me because of my energy or they think I'm crazy. So they want to see it anyways. Either one, I'm getting you in my funnel. Either one, promote, do not announce. Okay, um, now get educated, exci uh, excited and creative. What I mean by that, you don't need to know everything. That's a common thing that I, I see. Oh, well, I can't promote yet because I, I don't, I don't know anything. I just started. Guys, it's okay. Leverage the system. Leverage the system. When I didn't have the income to show, I leveraged my uplines. I leveraged other people. Why? Because they're making a paycheck. They're having results, meaning that the system works. That's what that means. The system works. I don't need to be the one to get a paycheck first, you know, like, because other people are. I will get it eventually. But, but instead of, I don't know, playing video games tonight, why don't you go in your back office and you might take a look at Money Pro, learn something. Because if it impacts you, it will impact others. Because now when you go to promote, not announce what we have, our products, you'll, you'll come from a place of genuinity. You will come from a place of, I it actually impacted my life. So people will feel that through the screen. Does that make sense? That makes sense? Good. Okay. Get excited. I know, and I say this all the time, I know when you're not having fun. I know when you're starting to hate your life. I know. Because I can see it in your content. You start to get sloppy. You start to like, hey guys, what's going on? So like, my name is Megan. Like, I see it. Okay. Get excited. Understand what you have. Sometimes you might need a little bit of a reboot, but and just understand the opportunity that you have in front of you and get creative. If you want to try something different, do it. This is your business. This is your business. Remember that. If you want to start doing talking videos and you've never done it, do it. If you want to start doing these cool transitions, like with makeup or hair, hey, I, I don't care. Do it. Do it. Because you never know what will happen and you might fall in love with it, right? So get educated, get excited, and get creative. Very, very important. Now, guys, that is the end of my training, okay? They, like, literally, I have just given you everything that I have. I poured in everything that I have. And I was so excited to do this training because I, this has helped me a lot. And this is the systems that I've created, I've adapted, I've, um, you know, I've taken from other people and reworked it a little bit because I, I just wanted a structure on how I can make sure that I make the most success stories, that we make the most success stories. And the reason I was excited to give it to you guys is because I cannot wait. I get so pumped, so freaking pumped thinking about things like Jamaica and how many of you I get to see there or like 
thinking about when we go to events, we're going to have this massive army of people that are just, they're looking great with their Prada sunglasses and they're all left their nine to five. And like, like I think about those things. I think, I just think about the future. Um, so I wanted to leave you off with this faith over fear. Okay. Now I've been reading a book about positivity, um, as a leader, because I feel like that was something I was struggling with and something that really sticks with me because I understand, especially whether you're here a month, whether you're here three months, six months, a year, sometimes you can get overwhelmed. I feel you. I still get overwhelmed, but, um, I, I, those thoughts, those fear, that fear that you, you have that comes to you, you need to manually turn it off and understand that you're, you have the community and support system. You have everything you need to be successful. Cause what I just said, guys, is the system works because there's someone that has, like Christian said, there's someone that has, you know, the same situation as you even worse. And they still are a success story. There's no reason why you can't do it. So this, this quote has stuck with me over this last little bit. Every time I start to get scared of the unknown and fear and faith have one thing in common. They both believe in a future that hasn't happened yet. If neither has happened yet, why wouldn't we choose to believe in a positive future? And it sticks with me because guys like trust, trust. I was talking about this with rated the other day. I used to tell them how spoiled we are and people don't understand it until you go to an event or you go, you go to things and you see how great this organization is. I'm not, let me stop sharing my screen. Cause I want to look at you guys. Um, and when I mean that we are super, super spoiled here, I truly, truly mean that before I end this call, guys, I want to, I see some new messages. I want to make sure that, um, if you have any questions, now's the time I'll take a couple of questions. Um, in my Calendly weekends are not available. We'll take a look at that, Gina. How do you respond to people that say the price is too good to be true? Oh yeah. Christian dropping the secret sauce. Um, I thought the same thing and I love that we're on the same page when it comes to that, but you wouldn't believe in the amount of people that are willing to, that aren't even willing to invest a hundred dollars on themselves. That's actually a solid response. If you guys don't write that down, I, I'll, I'll write that down, but pretty much uh, feel felt found um, is like the main thing. Feel felt found. I feel you. I like, I found the same thing. Um, and I found this, like, do you know what I'm trying to say? So it's relatability. If they can relate to you, um, you already got them now. Sheesh. I like that. I like that. You can let the future cripple you or let it empower you. Perfect. That's true. Um, top accounts to duplicate. If you have little time to educate yourself and want to create value running content. Wait, was that a question? Sorry. I, I might've read, read that wrong. Oh, I do want to give you guys, um, one more thing too, when looking for an account to follow. Okay. Um, do not get an account that has like 5k and you're at 5k. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I'm, I look at accounts that like are higher up up there, like, even if they're 80k, like 80k followers on TikTok, but look at their engagement. For example, like if they're at 80k and they're only getting like 500 to a thousand views, obviously probably not an account to follow, but I, if I find a video that has like 200,000 views and the account has like 40 K, I'm definitely copying that because that's, what's called an outlier. What that means is that video was trending, hop on it quick. That's some secret sauce that I was going to give you guys. Um, how narrow is the narrow for the people we want to reach out to big or too big? Wait, see, what do you mean? How narrow is too narrow for the people we want? Oh, like, oh, so for, if you're talking about niching down, like a niche down as, as hard as you can, as hard as you can. Because if you try to reach to everyone, you're going to reach to nobody. Um, so if you need to niche down, um, I'm not saying, for example, I mostly market towards women and I market to a lot of people in Toronto and that's very niche down, but I'm, I still get signups from people in the States because they still reach out. And I'm not saying I won't work with men. I'm not saying I won't work with people in Florida or whatever, but um, it helps you find your people more, if that makes sense. Um, question. Oh, okay. So top accounts to duplicate if you have little time to educate yourself and want to create educational value provided content. Oh, okay. I'm going to drop a couple of accounts, Maria, that I follow that like they're very generalized in our niche, but some like a tip for you guys is literally go on TikTok, type in like affiliate marketing, type in online business, type in passive income into the search bar and the accounts that are really well known for this will, will pop up and then you can take a look. Um, so that definitely helps. It definitely helps. Perfect. Okay, guys, I think that's all the questions. Um, I hope that all made sense. I just want to say I love 
that you all showed up for yourself today on a Saturday. You could have been doing absolutely anything, but you decided to spend this hour with me. Like I said, guys, I'm going to be dropping um, the presentation, the Jim Rohn podcast, my Calendly to look at the calendar, as well as the social media training later in the week. It's going to be this week. Don't worry, guys. Um, but besides that, guys, I love you all. Go kill it like I know you can. And uh, we'll talk very, very soon. Okay? Go kill it. Enjoy the rest of your day.